Hi, I'm Chris Cloak and I'm a patient with CRPS. We're here to discuss with Dr. Bruce Mitchell the mechanisms of CRPS and the management of the condition. This series of videos is to educate and inform people within the CRPS communities. I hope you enjoy. Are there any new treatment options for the management of CRPS? Uh, you have to say yes from a stimulation point of view. The, we're lucky in Australia in that we have had access to the world's first um, in stimulation parameters for the last five years. We, we're one of the first countries to have access to high frequency spinal cord stimulator. We're one of the first countries to have access to burst type stimulation. We were the second country to have access to dorsal ganglion stimulation. And we've got the biggest data set in the world of, of long-term outcomes from dorsal ganglion stimulation. And dorsal ganglion stimulation for CRPS is just phenomenal. Um, oh, it's, it's not perfect and there's complications with putting in any device. Um, and there are areas where I wouldn't go back until the equipment's a little bit better. Uh, but that'll be in about 12 months time. But certainly if I had somebody with an acute CRPS at the moment, dorsal ganglion stimulation would be where I'd be going straight away. Okay. Um, it's phenomenal what how it goes. And most of the time with the dorsal ganglion stimulation, 95% of our patients, we actually run some threshold. So they actually don't even realize they've got the stimulator turned on mm -hmm. and they just get on with their life.